Hey guys, it's Chase Game here, and welcome back to another video. I am doing bringing you a new video today. It's called Soccer Manager 2016 Edition. Um, it's basically a football game where you've got to take on a club and try and do as best as you can. Um, I'm going to be taking on a Premier League club, as you can tell by the title already. Um, I've gone with like a mid-table sort of relegation battle sort of team. I won't, I won't really call West Ham a relegation battle sort of team, but. Um, I'm taking West Ham because I've got really good players and I'm up for the challenge. Um, so if you do enjoy these type of videos, please drop a like. And this video will be longer than usual. So, But if you do want these sort of long videos, just tell me. Um, and I will bring you these videos because I enjoy making them for you. Um, so it was a hard decision because uh, there was a lot of teams that are in mid-table. Um, but looking at the West Ham team right there... Um, they've got a good few players, um, so let's get into all the emails and everything. Right, now moving into the emails. Um, first of all, we've got um, the board telling us where we should finish and everything. First email is the English transfer windows obviously open. And then we've got the likes of Matt Jarvis out on loan to Norwich. Uh, we've got Reese Burke out on loan to Bradford, and we've got Poyet out on loan to MK Dons. So that's really good, really. Get them some game time. Um, our first three friendlies is against Barnet at home, Accrington Stanley at home, and Port Vale away from home. Um, so we should be winning all of them teams, really. And uh, our first two Premier League games, our first one is against Watford, and our next game is against Spurs. So every game in the Premier League is going to be a challenge. So hopefully we can get a bag of three points. Um, the board want us to finish at least in the first round. So that should be achievable. And as you can see right now, West Ham have been drawn against Reading in the first round of the English Cup. So that's a, quite a good draw for us, but it's going to be tough because Reading are always good in the Cup. Um, board expectations. This... the. Our club chairman, sorry, um, wants us to finish in the top half of the table, which is going to be hard. Uh, that means top ten, basically. And we've got a budget of about 11, 12 million-ish. And so that's going to be quite good. And first of all, we've got a transfer offer off um, an American team called Troyes or something. Um, so now I'm going to be looking at my squad, doing my tactics, and um, playing around with my squad, really. First of all, um, we've got Barnett at home in the first game. So I want to be giving a lot of youngsters a tryout, but I also want to give some experienced players a game just so they're warmed up for the season and so they're not just rusty and going to pull injuries first game. So I'm just playing about with all the uh, reserves and everything. There's likes of Zerati who I want to choose here. Um, I actually bring him on the bench and take Andy Carroll onto the reserves. Um, I'm probably looking to sell Andy Carroll next episode, maybe. And uh, nextly, I'm going to change formation to one of my favourite formations, um, just everywhere, really. It's the 4-3-3 defence, if you want to call it. Uh, it's got a CDM, it's got two centre mids. You're going to see it in a second, right here. Um, this is the one. Um, I really like it because it's got a good CDM. The centre mids act well, and them top three can just... Stay up there, do what they want. Um, so I'm putting Zerati up top at the moment. We're keeping Moses out on the wing. We've got Amal Fatano down the right-hand side. We've got Kayate sitting in the CDM spot. Then we've got Obiang and Lanzini in the small triangle sort of thing. And the back four, we do change around um, in a few minutes because Alex Song, centre-back, I don't really want him there. I want him in a CDM role, but I'm going to rest him for the first game, and I'll probably bring him in for either the second or the third game at half time, maybe. Um, but anyway, we do go and sort out our tactics as well. We want tackling hard, um, we want mentality, just attacking again. Uh, passing can be short because uh, I don't want to waste passes and stuff like that. Um, attacking style. Uh, there's a lot of good ones there, but I think I'm going to go with mixed. The tempo can be normal. 
um, just so we don't make mistakes and passing, pressing, sorry, can be in our own half and I think everything else is going to be all right apart from Alex Song as a free kick taker so we're going to change that to Zerati. Um I think all that's good. Um, so now we that's going to be our team to go into Barnet um, for our first game of the season. So let's get... Right, so now we are looking at our squad just quickly before we get into the... Uh, First pre-season game, and I'm looking at the top left. Um, well, slightly the top left. It's we've got a chance to upgrade our training ground, our facilities, and everything. And it's only 250k off 11.5 million. So I thought, why not? Why not just upgrade our? F right. So we are now getting into our first pre-season game up against Barnet at home. So hopefully we can get a win. This is our team, as as you've already seen. We should be bagging um, a win. And hopefully, we we're gonna get a win. Um, as you can see right here, I do in fact swap Ogbonna into the centre back role, and we bring Adam Cresswell in, um, just to strengthen it. And as, as I said, um, I don't really want Alex Song playing centre back. So let's hopefully we can get a win. We're at home. We should be winning here, really. Um, I'm just sorting out the speeds. Um, Thirty speeds, fine, I think. And so let's go. We're playing in the Browns, just to let you know. Um, Zerati gets an early chance, but it's a good save. Lanzini, Zerati, Zerati, another good save. We should be scoring um, them type of chances, really. We're dominating possession around the 60s and 70%. Zerati crosses it in. Can we get a goal? Yes, we do. We get a goal with Victor Morrison's in the 40th minute. We get in there. Good little goal to start us off. Hopefully, we can get some more. But to most, just get to booking, I think. Yes, he does. Come on, boys. We're still dominating the game. We're getting chances. We're behind Zerati. Another great save for Lanzini. Oh, foul. Just coming up to near the half time whistle. And it looks like it's going to be half time. Maybe not. Amal Fatano. That should have been a goal. But it looks like it's going to be half time. Yes, it is. Um, I'm. I don't know if I'm going to be making any chances in this uh, changes in the second half. Sorry, um, I might make a few. I'm going to bring Alex Song into the CDM role for Kiate, and I think that's the only change I'm going to make. Apart from I'm going to take off Zerati, uh, take off Moses. Sorry, because he's on a booking. Bring Valencia up top and Zerati out wide. Let's hopefully get a few more goals. Still having the possession. We've got a corner. Zerati whips it in, and Cresswell at the back stick, he backs it for 2 now. looks like we're going to go on in this game now, good performance boys. Lanzini, the keeper's been saving a lot, but I think we need to be burying more chances really, Lanzini's through again, put wide, need to bury our chances, Zerati's through again, gives it back so, Oh my, the scramble is real. Zerati. Zerati's fouled. Is he going to take any action? Yes, he's going to book him. And nothing comes off that chance. And it's a bad pass and Valencia should be scoring that. Um, it's going to be tough to decide who's going to go up to front because so far Zerati and Valencia haven't been the best at finishing. But Victor Moses does get man of the match and we do go on to win 2-0 which is a great start to our friendlies. So hopefully next episode we can get into more friendlies and more games so, but now I'm going to make a signing. Right now we're going to make a signing. I'm looking at this guy called Abassi. He can play on the wing. He's more of an attacking midfielder. As you could see he's age 29 but he's rated 86 so it's very good. So I'm going to try and sign this kid. Um, I've been doing a bit of research on him. Um, as you could see on the right, he's got good dribbling stats. He's got good finishing stats. Not a bad free kick taker. Um, he might be a good penalty taker for us. And he's got good flair. So he might be a good um, player to have on the wing or on attacking situations. So we're going to put about about 23 grand in for him, I reckon. Um, the chairman wants to us to pay up to 24 and no higher so I do go and try and get him for 23 grand um, but for 2 million um, that's nothing really for an 86 rated player that could be could could be a great signing 
and now I'm going to do a live um, transfer and try and get another attacking player, maybe a winger, something like that. There's the likes of Ron Vla here. There's Ronaldinho, really cheap, 200k, but he's 35, so it is quite old. Um, it'll be better to get a, about a 25-year-old or in the 20s this time. I know we got a 29-year-old, but he's getting old. Um, so why not get a younger one? So I'm looking about, and I see this guy called Ol Issa. I can't really say it. Um, again, an 86-rated player, and again, an attacking player. This guy can play on the right, though, this time. Um, this guy's a lot faster. Um, he, he looks a better long-shot player. Probably better at shooting. Um, he's got about the same dribbling stats, but again... I'm going to be putting 25,750 grand and hopefully we can sign him. Um, it'll be a nice addition for our team. Uh, so I think I'm going to go 25 grand, um, like I've already said, and he's 25. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, um, but that's quite young and that is quite good for an 86 rated player, so I can hopefully get him up. And now we've got a transfer approach from. Troyes or something, um, 760k, um, he doesn't look amazing, but I think I might send him to our reserve team, instead of being in the first team, get him some game time, because he's 80 rated and he might become quite good, so I'll, I'll put him in the reserve team, and then hopefully we can get him up some ratings and hopefully he'll become a good player to play in the first team. He he looks like a defender, like on the right hand side of defence. He probably can play in the middle, but his strongest side is on the right. Um so yeah, we're gonna move into reserve team as I've just done there. And I don't really want to be selling him just yet. He might be bad, but um hopefully his potential is pretty good. And um look at that. We do in fact sign Obasi and Olise. Which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, brilliant news. So we've got two new signings in the bag. Uh, which is absolutely great. Also. That that is really good. Sorry. That that is such a good signing that is. Um, and also we get a transfer approach from Southampton. They're putting in a 3.4 million um, bidding for him. We've just got him. He could become quite good, and I, he's a player that I actually want to keep. So um, I'm going to put the bid is too low though, because I feel as if 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 they up it to about 4.5 upwards, really, I think that'll be better because um, you can get players on bargains on this game, really. Um, so I'm actually going to put him up to about 4.5 ish, uh, 4.6, 4.5, uh, because it would be quite good and it would get me up. Um, back up again uh, but I think that's going to wrap up the episode near enough guys uh, I'm just going to go put in the players um, I'll make the team ready for the next episode for the next friendly up against Accrington Stanley at home we should be winning that but again I'm going to put out a stronger team um, just to give the first team players a bit of experience and a bit of unrustiness if you get me uh, so we're taking out um, Amel Fatano, bringing Oli Ser onto the wing. I try putting a Bassi just in the centre mid, but as I've already said, he's a he's more of an attacking player. Um, so we do bring him out wide, as you can see, and we bring Mark Noble on for Lanzini because Lanzini wasted a lot of chances last game. But that is going to be the team for next game. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you later.